everyone. You guys all wanted to know how I did the clouds in this piece. Um, so I thought I would do a mini tutorial. It's not going to be the greatest. Uh, but I thought I would share with you on how I did it. So what I use is this brand of air dry clay. It doesn't have to be this brand. This is the brand that I find that I like the best out of all the brands that I've tried. Uh, it's three ounces. I bought it at Michael's Craft Store for, I think, a little less than $10 and then I used a coupon. Here's the back of the package. I burned right here on accident. Um, I took out some of it and then put it into a littler Ziploc bag that I keep double bagged so it doesn't dry out and then I resealed it. That's why it's burned right there. So that keeps this soft and it doesn't dry out. So all I do is I take a little ball of the clay off of here and then seal it back up and I kind of mush it around. Here's the, here's a dried piece, I don't know if you can see it, here's a dried piece that has, that I made a few days ago and it just sat there and dried so this one is solid. Um, so all you, you can use a needle tool, I use this. Or you can use a toothpick or a needle tool or you know whatever you want to make or to use. I've also used a piece that I've made. Let's see if I can find it. I used I made this. Um, it's dirty and gross, but I made this a long time ago to scrape off pieces easier or to texture clay a little bit easier but anyway you can use whatever you want just something sharp so all you do is I kind of anchor it down with you know a tool or you can use your finger if you wanted so you just take it and kind of push it and then you just kind of scrape it and it you know since you smashed it down into a ball see now you have like this fluffy cloud and you just keep going and just keep doing that in random pieces I kinda you know if it's too fluffy or too round see how this is smooth you kinda want it like more fluffy so I just start picking at it and then I fold it in on itself so it's kinda rough see how that came off and it's too it's too smooth so I just take it and put it back on and you just scrape it and then you put it down and I let these dry you can either let them dry or you can put them in wet however you want it doesn't matter um, and you can do little teen tiny pieces to make it so it's you know random sizes And then whenever you're done, put the clay that you don't use back because it does dry out pretty quick. So I put that back in there. And then if you want smaller pieces, you can kind of break them up. But I kind of just, or, you know, I kind of smooth or break that out a little bit so it's more fluffier. And then you can either put them in the clay or into the resin as is. Uh, just be careful whenever you touch them because they are soft and they'll squish down. Um, so you want to keep that fluffy texture. Or you can let them dry like this and then there's less chance that you'll mess it up when you're putting it in, when you're pushing it down into your resin. So I hope that helps. It's super easy. I did this in layers. I used UV resin. Um, I'm not going to share the brand of resin due to it being a polyester resin and it does smell bad uh, just like polyester resin, regular polyester resin does. So I'm not going to share 
unless it's asked, uh, but you need to make sure that you know the proper way to use polyester resin because it does have bad fumes. You need well ventilated area, uh, but I buy it by the gallon. I like how it comes out and I use a lot of it, so <laughs> that's why I still use it. Uh, but you can use any UV resin that you want. Uh, Lisa Pavelka has one that you can buy at Hobby Lobby. Whoops, sorry, I'm out of frame. Uh, at Hobby Lobby for, I believe, $10.99. And it's one ounce. And you can uh, use a coupon for 40% off on this. So it's even cheaper. It's a great alternative if you can't wait for... UV resin from China or from a supply store that you buy from. So it works great. Um, I've done pieces like this before. I cure it either under a UV lamp or outside or I actually have a UV torch that I use. Um, here actually, here's the brand that <laughs> I gave it away. This is the brand that I use for the resin. Beware, it does stink, but it does work. So just be cautious whenever you're buying. It's a dual cure resin, so you can use catalysts. If you're using a mold that has shadows, uh, but again, I can't stress it enough, it does smell horrible, but it's a good resin. So you can use that with this torch and the resin that I use. I decanted it into a smaller bottle, but um, you can cure that solar res resin probably within, oh gosh, I flash cure it and it cures within, I'd say 30 seconds, um, not to a full cure, but to a thick honey consistency cure that you can add more inclusions or whatever into it if you need to. But anyway, um, again, it stinks. Don't buy it if you don't, don't understand the risks of polyester resin. So if you want, you can just use a different UV resin that you've already had, or this is an option also. Um, you can also do it with epoxy resin it just takes longer because you have to do it. I did this in layers to give it the three dimensional effect where it's, you know, there's clouds up at the top and the center and the bottom. Uh, so just do whatever you feel comfortable, however you feel comfortable. But these are basically the clouds that I made to put in here. I hope this helps. Sorry for the rambling. I kind of got off track. I got a lot on my mind. Uh, so. I hope this helps. Bye.